Hi everyone, the Spider Man here. So, as promised, I did say yesterday that my cockroaches will be arriving today. And there is the parcel just there. So, if you want any cockroaches, any dubias or any red runners, please check out my friend, Peter Krupnik, on Facebook. A fantastic seller. I've known Peter now around about five years. He used to live in Birmingham, not far from me. But unfortunately, he moved away. And he doesn't sell uh, tarantulas no more. He just sells uh, cockroaches. So, yeah, please check out Peter Krupnik on Facebook if you want any red runners or dubias. Uh, unfortunately, he can only post out in the UK. So, let's open the box and put the red runners in their new home. So, guys, before I put the roaches in their new home, I've got my roach tub here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some bug gel and put some bug gel inside that little tub there and I'll put some cat biscuits in as well so there is my bug gel ladies and gentlemen this is perfect for as you can see on the bug gel tub uh, locust or crickets um, um, super worms and cockroaches please do not use this for tarantulas it's no good for tarantulas at all they can't eat this at all so yeah that's perfectly fine so let's put that in the tub so here is the cat biscuits guys and I've just used one of my large water dishes and I've got the cat biscuits and grounded them down using a pestle and mortar. So yeah, that should be perfectly fine and the roaches can climb in and out of that water dish to eat their food. So everyone, with the bug gel and the cat biscuits inside the tub and I've rearranged all them egg crates and you can see them gaps there and that's where all the cockroaches hide so let's do the last part of this video now is to get the cockroaches and put them into their new home so everyone as you can see i have opened the box so let's take the, the packaging out and there they all are there and like i said yesterday there is some adults and some uh, nymphs in there as well so yeah let's take this one out and let's put it into its new home so let's just take the lid off and hopefully they should all come out. Let's just take that piece of cardboard out as well. Oh, there's a fair few. Over 300. Which is, um, yeah, that's not too bad. It's a, a bit of a bargain there. So let's just tip them all out. Hopefully they should all... Come out when all they're ready. Yep. So guys, I'll leave this for about five minutes. Let them all come out and I'll get back to you guys very shortly. So instead of just waiting here, watching them to come out, let's just take this off and give them a little shake and they should all just... off and I've got one there just walking around <laughs> there we go so yeah 18 pound guys for all these little babies and there's the males there the males I have wings and the females don't so that's how you can tell between males and females and what I'll do is guys I'll put that uh, safety net on just as a precaution these can't climb smooth surfaces like plastic or glass or glass if you uh if you're posh <laughs> so yeah hopefully these will breed and start uh laying uthicas on the floor like little egg cases and somebody commented on my last video and said that these will breed at room temperature but unfortunately room temperature in this room it is very, very cold because I live next to a huge field. <laughs> so it does get very, very windy and very cold around here. And it hits my room and it does get uh, temperatures go really, really low. So people keep saying, why don't you use room temp? But uh, room temp is not the same in everybody's house. So with all the red runners off this egg crate here, there's only... 
one there. It's just decided to uh, get out. Boop, there we go. So yeah, there we go, guys. So let's just put the safety net on and the lid on. So with the safety net on, let's just put the lid on and clip it down. And there we go, guys. My new Roach Connolly. And what I'll do is I'll leave them probably for a couple of weeks and let them start breeding. And hopefully we'll find some Uthicas very soon. I think there's one just there. Yeah, there's one just there, look. Straight away, there's an Uthica there as well. So hopefully that will hatch soon into little nymphs. And we can start feeding some spiders. So I hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. And thanks for watching, everyone.